All right, so let's get started on the makeup look. I just want to warn y'all that I haven't done like an extensive makeup look in a long time. Probably in like, I can't remember the last time. I think like eight months ago, I did an extensive like color, like graphic liner, hot pink eyeshadow kind of look. Ever since then, I've just been so busy that every time I've just been doing very, very, very natural looks. So today I'm definitely going to go a little bit more glam, like holiday glam, as is the title of this video. But this is a disclaimer. Um, so it's probably, you know, going to take me a little bit to get adjusted to my tools and the colors and everything. Okay, so first things first, we're going to uh, put the hair back um, because, you know, let's get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is get my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Uh, my sibling, Ale, got me this um, and I've used it all the time it's amazing um, and it just helps your makeup stay on pretty well it looks like this it's like creamy on in the inside um, and it also yeah it gives you a little bit of an airbrush finish where you don't really see your pores as much so I'm just gonna take like this amount and put it all over my face my face is um, has no makeup on it I just put some hydrating face lotion on it it's because I like that hydrated look on or I like put how my makeup looks when my face is hydrated so I'm just gonna rub this all over my face next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows really quickly um, I have some tint on them right now. Um, oh my gosh, I have to show you guys the tint I use. So it's the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. It looks like this. I'll do a tutorial on how I just put this on every other, every two or three days and like they stay tinted. I was like $7 at Target. It's great. Um, so I, for glam looks, I put on, um, a little bit of eyeshadow to just darken them a little bit. I do, I don't do concealer. I'm not doing concealer right now and like really fleeking them because, um, I just like, I'm liking the natural look right now. Um, okay. So just literally just a little bit. Otherwise, because like I said, I'm really digging the fluffy, natural look right now. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but just fill in the... So, I was going to do face next, because I'm like, oh, eyebrows, face, lips, out the door, little mascara, whatever. But since this is an eyeshadow look we're gonna do eyeshadow first i do remember that um so because then like the fallout gets on your like foundation and it's just gonna be a mess so the main palette that i'm gonna be using is this Too faced palm springs um dreams eyeshadow palette it's the cocktail party eyeshadow palette um and it's where I'm going to get be getting most of my colors from today. So I know people usually use the tape method where they put tape here. But I don't have tape. I never have tape and I always need tape. And I go to the store and never buy tape. I don't know. But other people use like the index card method. This is not an index card but it'll work. There are many sticky notes. So yeah. Use what you got y'all. Okay, you don't always have to go out and buy stuff. I just complained that I needed to go buy tape and, okay. Um, 
Don't listen to me. So first thing we're gonna do is take a light brown. Oh my God, I'm nervous. I haven't done this in so long. I'm scared, okay. And we're gonna, we're gonna do like a winged look with the eyebrow, with the brown eyeshadow here. And this sharp edge is just gonna really help it be sharp. Okay. I'm gonna bring it towards the center. And with a clean brush, we're going to buff it out. It's like painting on your face. Okay. Okay. It's not as pigmented as I was expecting, but we'll just have to pack on the color. We're gonna go to the next side. That one is a little bit more pigmented. Okay. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit more on this side. Ooh, yes. Okay, put a little bit more on this side. Yeah. So next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do like a semi cut crease um, here. It's not like a true cut crease. I just really wanna put, um, I just, I wanna put concealer on here, these lids, cause I want the gold that I'm gonna use from this palette to really pop. Um, so this is the concealer I'm using, e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, Satin Finish. I mean, the words are blurred, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take the wand and then my brush, and I'm just going to take a little bit, y'all. Little. Because you can't just, mm, not with the cut crease. I'm gonna do padding motions. From the inner corner to like mid to end eyelid. And just pat it dry. So we're gonna do the same thing with the next. So next thing we're going to do is, um, it's all coming back to me, like the muscle memory is coming back to me. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a lot harder. Mm, let me not jinx it. Hold up. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, we're going to use the other side. So this has the concealer on it. We're going to use the other side. Look, y'all. I know how it sounds. I just really like this flat shader brush surface and I only have one I think so we're gonna pack on this is the fun part this is the gold so pretty okay yeah this is why we do eyeshadow first because the fallout on this oh my it's like getting in my eyes that's a 
pretty color though. Ooh, I like it. I like how it makes my brown eyes pop. My brown eyed girlies. I just want to take a moment. Shout out to y'all. Because y'all don't get enough recognition. Including me. Okay. Oh my god. I forgot which side was the concealer side. <laughs> oh no. I think it was that one. Oh goodness. I forgot how much fun eyeshadow was. Love it. I'm like, look at me. I'm like hyping myself up. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, my favorite part, okay? I love doing eyeliner. Um, Because we're going to mm, snatch our eyes. We're going to, mm, what is that? <sighs> the wing that can cut you like a knife? Something. I don't know. So I'm using, mm, guys, this is my, I've been using, I've been using this e.l.f. eyeliner since I was 15. Like, look at this. It's like a paintbrush and it's just such a, I think it leaves a great finish. Okay, so we're going to start from our inner corner. Make our way down to the outer corner, following the line of the eyeshadow, kind of. Okay, so then I'm gonna do it to the next eye. This eye looks good. I like it. Okay. So again, you just start from your inner corner. Do I want to do inner corner eyeliner? Okay, y'all, I'm still practicing my inner corner eyeliner. I haven't done it that many times. We'll get there. But I like the way it looks. So I think this is the eye look, y'all. <gasps> look at the gold. Oh my gosh, it's giving. What is it? It's giving. <sighs> what is the word? It's giving star on top of the Christmas tree shimmer, okay? It's giving angel shimmer. Y'all, there's a certain kind of way that makeup makes me feel, and that's why I love makeup so much. I love makeup. And if anybody ever, like, tells you, like, you wear too much makeup, or, like, um, you look so different without makeup, or, like, I could go on about all of these things I have been told, why are you wearing so much makeup? Because I want to. Because I like the way I look. Or the other one. You look so different without makeup. Yeah, I would hope so. I would hope that I don't look the exact same because I didn't just waste all this money on all these products and like waste all my time practicing makeup for me to look the exact same. 
Anyways, so this is not foundation. Um, we're gonna do lashes last, by the way. Um, this is not foundation. This is BB cream, skin hydrating beauty balm. Uh, I just don't have foundation. I would use a more full coverage foundation, but I don't have it right now. So this is what we're gonna use. I, I use this for the summertime, which if you saw my very first YouTube video, you would know. Okay, so we're just gonna, ooh, I was gonna put it on with my sponge. Where's my sponge? Where's my makeup? Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna put it on with our fingers. Um, I'm a lot <laughs> lighter than I was in the summertime. This is, wow, this is a different color <laughs> than my skin. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so tan. What has winter done to me? It's changed my skin tone. Okay. Is that spread out even? <gasps> Sometimes I'll be missing spots. Okay. So let me go find my beauty sponge real quick. Found it. Okay, so we're gonna dampen the beauty sponge with some water. I'm like scared. Oh, yep. That's what I was scared of. Dripping down. Oh well. Now there's water everywhere. Great. Oh well. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is take the same concealer and just put it directly under our eyes. A little bit on this corner, a little bit on the opposite corner. Because we are going for the snatch look, people. Look at that. I look alive. Y'all, these past couple of days, let me tell you. So I just finished my finals for my fall semester of 3L. That was a lot. And I'm so tired. I'm actually, today I think is the first day that I really, truly, and completely have nothing else to do regarding classes. Um, which is a, you know, different feeling. Um, I'm really glad it's over with, though, because spring semester, here we come, last semester of law school. I'm so excited, y'all. Um, JD me. JD me now. No, but for real, I'm excited just because, like, the amount of work you put in when you're in law school, you're kind of like, when you finally get that degree, I feel like you're like, dang, I really did that, yo. So, I'm excited for that. Okay, so next thing, we're going to set our under eyes with the matte and poreless Maybelline Fit Me. Looks like this. Comes with a little applicator like this. Just put a little bit. And I just put it right on the creases of my under eyes. I don't put it everywhere. Just on the creases. Okay. Cool. So then we are going to go in with a little bit of bronzer and contour powder, City Bronzer from Maybelline. So you see there's a pattern. There's Elf and Maybelline. <laughs> I really like them. It's affordable, y'all. I, I 
dabble in the other brands like I have the Too Faced palette, but you know, I'm on budget and that's okay. Okay. And I still look fleet. Okay, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna, I like to do my contour powder starting from like the top of my earlobe. I wanna say, what's here? Yeah, the bottom of my nostril. Let's say that. Okay. Y'all get the point. So, just gonna start packing it on. I'm not the best contourer. This is what I do. And then I bring it down. Yeah, I feel like contour also takes a lot of uh, patience with blending because you're like oh that looks crazy but then you're like okay trust the process also if y'all could not tell I'm not no professional makeup artist okay I do makeup as a hobby I like how it looks so I'm pretty proud of myself but yeah Same process here, and then bring it down the chin, <gasps> move down your neck. <laughs> Some people like a little bit more of a chiseled look. Um, I like for the look to be a little bit more chiseled. Some people like a barely there look. Which is also fine, but I like for the bronzer to show a little bit. It is a lot of blending. We're just going to put a little bit on our forehead and really blend it. Really, really blend it because I think bronzer is the part that I get the most worried about because if you don't blend it like it really not going to look good y'all okay so put it on my forehead down my temples just to warm up the face which it really does I feel like I put too much. Uh, I'm just gonna have to sort it out with my hand. It's okay if you make mistakes, it doesn't have to look perfect. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Maybe I can fix it a little bit more after. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is blush. I have my e.l.f. blush palette here. Um, so these are what the colors look like. I usually go for the first one right here. Um, so I'm going to put it at the top of my cheekbones. Smile a little bit and bring it down a little bit. Start from the top, bring it down a little bit to the cheekbones. That's how I like it. I like blush. I like a more pinkish look, so but you can go less heavy on the blush if you want to. I like to put some on the tip of my nose as well, and then put some highlight there. Woo, looks cute. And then a little bit at the bottom of my chin. Okay. Cute. So next thing, we're almost done. Okay, so here is, I use the Wet n Wild, ooh, new product, Wet n Wild, uh, Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. I really like this highlighter. My sister used it once and she said she really liked it too. And she uses like high-end highlighters, so she said she liked it. Must be something. Tip in my nose. Top of my cheekbones. A little bit on my chin, just to highlight certain areas of the face. Okay, 
so we're gonna just blend this out oh look at that finish wow it's like ever so subtle and you can really pack it if you wanted to if you wanted to really make it shine a lot you could really pack it on there i i think i'm gonna leave it like this but wow hmm. then blend it a little bit here and now the nose maybe put a little blush over the highlight since the highlight kind of rubbed it off a little <laughs> I love highlight. I love all. <laughs> I love all of it. Okay, so a little bit on my nose. Let's give it some color. Tip of my nose. Mm -mm. Okay, so um, the last thing we gotta do is just. Curl our lashes. I don't have uh, fake lashes. I, I'm going to get some because they look... The baddies with the fake lashes, mm, y'all look good. Um, I'll probably get some from like CVS or something. Um, and then we'll do lips, which is... I say all the parts of my favorite parts. This is my favorite part because I, I like my lips. So, yeah. Anyways, so we're going to curl the lashes ever so carefully because sometimes I'd be curling the lashes, be messing up my eyeliner. Mm-mm. I'll be getting so frustrated. Then we're going to use the Maybelline, the Falsies Volume Express. I love this curved wand. And then time to fit. Because I actually am going to a holiday uh, like party right after this. So I'm like checking the time. I'm like, let me make sure it's not really late. I love how the gold is bringing out the brown in my eyes. I need to do more. I used, you guys, I used to do so much eye looks. Like during quarantine, I would literally come upstairs for lunch in full glam and my parents are like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to take pictures in my room, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you, having siblings, that'll give you thick skin. Tough, tough skin, y'all. <laughs> like, girl, you need to blend your eyes. <laughs> I'm like, I have younger siblings, y'all. It's so funny. They'll be like, girl. I mean, you know, they're nice most of the time. It's just funny. Last but not least, the lips. Okay, the lips, I'm actually a little bit nervous for the lips because I'm going to try and do a red look, a red lip, but I don't um, typically like doing red lips. I don't typically do red lips. So I'm going to do kind of like a, a version of it where I outline my lips with brown. This is the NYX Lingerie... Uh, lipstick it's kind of like it has this kind of wand so I'm gonna use it to line my lips it's gonna be a little bit difficult but oh well um and then I'm gonna use the red lipstick to like put it in the middle and use some gloss to finish it off so hopefully it works let me wipe off this chapstick because sometimes it makes the like lipstick harder to apply so we're just gonna See how this goes. And 
ones we're going to put the red in the middle let's see how it works hopefully the red looks good with the brown and it blends good is this red or orange that looks orange there's the red oh my gosh you guys okay let's see so this is um i believe this is estee lauder um in 181 red stiletto and look at that, look at that red, y'all. <laughs> okay, so let's put it in the middle. storage ran out on me y'all so i gotta do this quick um so i put basically i put a lip gloss to blend the two colors the red in the middle and the brown uh lip liner i think it looks amazing i love it um i'm gonna try like i was saying before i was rudely interrupted by your iphone doesn't have any more storage um i am gonna try uh using red a little bit more because i don't know it makes me feel like confident it makes me feel good it makes me feel like you know that girl so um yeah so let me get dressed really quickly accessories hair everything and show y'all the final look before my iphone decides to okay this is the finished look i have to do it really fast again because i don't know when the um the storage is gonna run out so basically i i put my hair in a half up half down i straightened my bangs did them real cute i put on my silver accessories as always um these like silver circle earrings this cute little pendant my rings um what else oh my uh, green sweater i think it looks amazing with in contrast with like the red lip and the gold eyes. I think this is screaming holiday fun and cheers and everything. So thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of my video. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button down below and uh, hit that thumbs up. It helps me so much with engagement. As always, please follow me at authentically not underscore which is my instagram i want my instagram fam and youtube fam to combine and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you liked it and if you guys try to recreate this video please send it to me via dm instagram um thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye